loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my on-the-go routine from hair, makeup, and of course my outfit. So if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. I also wanted to mention that this video is proudly sponsored by It's a 10. I have been a huge fan of It's a 10 since the very, very beginning, so it makes me so happy to be able to partner up with them. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the hair. So I've already blow-dried my hair and applied this Miracle Leave-In product, which is one of my all-time favorites. And then I also applied a little bit of the Miracle Blow-Dry Volumizer on the roots, so it gives me a little bit of volume. I'm also going to be using this two-way curling iron from InStyler. It is one of my favorites. It straightens your hair and also curls it really, really fast and is very gentle on your hair. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to do my hair straight and then curl the bottoms. I can do this within like five minutes, you guys. It's so quick. I love this rotating iron it's great it detangles my hair also brushes it out i absolutely love it it doesn't get too hot it doesn't damage my hair so i highly recommend it you guys after styling my hair i love applying this dry oil spray it has keratin and argan oil in it it makes my hair feel nice and soft it makes it look really really shiny and healthy as well so i absolutely love it it smells so good too by the way so if you're interested in any of the products that i mentioned and showed for the hair I will have everything linked for you guys down below. It's a 10 is an amazing brand. Like I said before, I have been a fan since the very beginning. I have been using their products for years now. It's a 10 is a professional salon formula. It has really good quality ingredients. Pretty much 10 benefits in one bottle. It's also cruelty free and will give your hair shine, hydration, and healthy movement. So definitely check them out. I also have a 10% off coupon code for you guys. So that will all be in the description box down below if you're interested. So now on to my everyday makeup. I'm first up using this moisturizer is the Nuni Radiance Dual Essence. I highly recommend it for those who have dark spots and dull skin tones. It's definitely going to brighten up your skin and I love using this during the daytime right before putting my makeup on. It just really makes my skin feel nice, soft, and supple and again it brightens it up. Next, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier concealer. This concealer is so good, you guys. Like, it has really good coverage. Without that heavy feeling, it doesn't look cakey. It stays put. It doesn't crease. It's amazing. So I highly recommend this if you like more of that like medium to full coverage but without the cakiness so definitely check this out you guys and as you can see i'm applying it underneath my eyes around my mouth area pretty much where it's a little bit darker just so i can like even out my skin tone and such and i'm just using my artiste palm brush to blend this all out you guys know i love this brush and i always get questions about it so i will go ahead and link it for you guys down below i know it is a really pricey brush but it's so good I don't go a day without using it. I use it for foundation and concealers. It is the best. Now we're skipping the liquid foundation and this is what I'm using. This is a powder foundation from It Cosmetics. It's so good. I seriously love it. It stays put all day long. It doesn't make me look oily. It just looks so natural and gives you that coverage. So I just, oh my gosh, I highly recommend this, you guys. If you haven't tried it out yet, you have to. So I actually am using it in the color tan. I could probably go a shade lighter, but I do like this color. Um, yeah, I think it works out really well. And as you can see, it just like really does a great job on evening out my skin tone and gives me just enough coverage. All right, next I'm applying the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I have this in kind of like a lighter shade, and I like using this just to kind of give my eyes like underneath my eyes a little bit more brightness and also this really keeps me oil free so I like to apply this on the nose as well now this powder doesn't give you any coverage so it's just kind of like a light dusting right in the center part of my face for the brows I'm going to be using the Anastasia brow gel um this is kind of like a brow setter so usually you do this after you fill in your brows, but I like to do it beforehand. And I'm going to let this dry. While that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. I'm using this Laura Mercier Clay Palette. I love this. And I just use my fingers. I mean, you can use your brush, whatever you'd like. But I just use my fingers. And I'm applying this all over the lid area. 
Next, this is my Hourglass Bronzer. I love this. And I'm actually going to take a fluffy blending brush and apply this onto the crease of my eyes. It's just going to give my eyes a little bit more depth, um, but not too much of like that actual crease color, if you know what I mean. So I'm just adding depth to my eyes and yeah, just really fluffing it up. I'm of course also going to use this as my bronzer. So I want to bronze up my face a little bit. So I'm applying it on my cheeks area, um, on my forehead, on my chin, pretty much everywhere. And here's another bronzer. This is from number seven. I love this bronzer and I really can't get away from it. But anyways, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and really apply on my cheeks area. I'll kind of chisel it a little bit more so I have a little bit more of that contour look. So that's all I'm doing with this bronzer. For blush, I'm actually going to use this one from Jouer Cosmetics. And I'm mixing both colors and just really lightly applying that onto my cheeks. And then I'm applying this eye pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty much just a dark brown color. And I'm doing that on my upper waterline just like this. Now back onto the brows. I have been loving this one from Maybelline. It's a Total Temptation brow pencil, I believe. And it's just so good. I love how it's kind of like that slanted pencil, but it's smaller than the Goof Proof from Benefit Cosmetics. So I can get really precise with this. And I actually really like the rounded spoolie at the end. I don't know, you guys. I just love it. And I find that I apply my brows really like faster with this product um and it looks good and then and the color looks great it stays put it has kind of also that waxy finish so it helps your brows stay in place as well all day long so i just really like it for mascara i'm using this one from dior i love this because it gives you volume and length without making your lashes look clumpy it also smells so good and it doesn't run or anything like that. So it's definitely one of my favorite mascaras. And for lips, I've just been using this lip oil. This is also from Nuni. I love this product. This is the Apple Mint one. It's hydrating and also plumping. And to set everything in place, I'm just using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I highly recommend. It's a fave. For my outfit, I'm just wearing something really comfy for every day. So this is a top that I got from Kohl's. It's just a normal I think it's a small top and then my maternity leggings and just some sneakers. So that is it. This is the finished look. I can seriously do the hair in 5 minutes and then the makeup in 10 minutes and I'm done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like usual, everything will be listed and linked down below for you guys if you're interested in any of the items. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye! Bye.